hard to believe that it's been four whole years since we started high school. I don't know about you, but these years have flown by for me. They've been full of ups and downs, but they have, without a doubt, been the best four years of my life. And if I could do it over, I wouldn't change a thing. East Hamilton is like a family to me, but it hasn't always been that way. Think way back to when we first came here at the beginning of sophomore year. Many of us spent that year questioning our decisions to leave our previous schools and come here. That first year was quite a change for most of us, and even a little bit awkward at times. We were a melting pot of different backgrounds, and we had yet to form an identity for ourselves. We weren't steeped in history and tradition like some other schools. In those early days, we were just at the new school. But slowly, things started to change. This melting pot that at first seemed like a weakness actually turned into our greatest strength. We realized that we were all in this together, like it or not. So we began to embrace our different backgrounds, while at the same time forming a unique identity for ourselves and our new school. The East Ham fam started to take shape. We began coming out in full force to sporting events. Our team started winning. By junior year, we were forced to be regular. And then, their senior year. It was a great year, despite most of us suffering from chronic senioritis. And it flew by. It feels like just yesterday we were walking into school for our first day of senior year. And now it's over. But I guess that's just how it goes. Life moves on, but you get to keep the memories at least. Some of my best memories this year are from basketball games. Our teams had a great year with plenty of wins. There were also many tough losses, but they fought hard each and every game. But what I remember the most about basketball season is our student section. East Hamilton has by far the best student section around, the Kane Crazies. We get loud and crazy whether we're winning or losing. I remember one game where we were down by 20 points late in the game with no real shot at winning. Do you know what we did? We got even louder. We've developed quite a reputation with some coaches even warning their players about our incessant screaming and chanting. It's hard to believe that in just three years we've been able to reach this level of school pride, and it's something I'll never forget. Something else I'll never forget is the cross country team. Our team has been quite successful these past three years, going to state every year, and this year we just missed winning state by a matter of seconds. But our success is not what I'll remember the most. What will stick with me are the bonds our team has made. How the varsity runners always stayed after their race to cheer on the JV runners. How we would have huge pasta parties the nights before meets. These are the things that will stick with me. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Ms. Legas for being such an amazing coach all these years. Cross country is a hard sport, and without a strong coach to keep the fire burning inside, it's easy to become complacent and lazy. Ms. Legas was always there to make sure that didn't happen though. But now, we must look to the future. In just a little while, you will walk this stage and receive your high school diplomas that you worked so hard for, and that is truly cause for celebration. Many people never make it this far, but you have. So celebrate, reflect on what you've achieved, and for one night, forget about the future. But when tomorrow rolls around, it's time to get back to work. Tomorrow marks the beginning of the next stage of your life. Many of you will be going to college in a few months, and I challenge you to take advantage of the incredible opportunities you will be given. Push yourself to learn as much as you possibly can. Many more of you still will be entering the workforce shortly. I challenge you to put every ounce of effort you have into your work each and every day. But no matter your path, 